I am a huge Top Chef fan, loving this season so far. Um, what's one of the most difficult things about being on that set? Like, what's a, from a production standpoint, what's the thing that would surprise people that are fans? That before I get to taste the food, I can smell the food on the soundstage being made, and it just makes you really, really hungry. And then, so you just have to sit there and smell it all and wait. And that's really hard. And then, like, there's constantly food, not only, you know, on the show and in that kitchen, but around with craft services. Because my cameraman like a lot of snacks and yeah. sweets and donuts. So it's constantly food, 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 food. So the craft service on Top Chef is like kind of like standard snack food, not like elevated food. It's everything. I try to get them to have healthier like veggies and stuff, but there's everything from Fruit Loops to high-end cheese. Yeah. <laughs> what is like, what is knowing how a show gets produced done for your hosting? I mean, I think, you know, it's really made me appreciate how much goes into the show. I have a lot of producers who've been working on the show with me for so long. And so we really are like one unit, like one big giant organism that has all these tentacles. Yeah. And I think what makes the show really good too is that we genuinely love working on it and I hope that shows. And I'm really happy that I get to celebrate them and sit down and have dinner and you know, because all the time like people see me on camera but they don't see all the hard work that so many people do. And so it's going to be a fun night. I've never been to this event, so I don't know really what to expect. I, the producers of the event have promised a dinner that that's okay. never been done at an award show. Oh. Do you feel like when you come to an event like this and you sit down for dinner, do people look to you to go, is this good? Am I, is this OK? Am I allowed to like it? I don't think people expect that much from these kind of big banquet gala dinners. I mean, I think the best thing to do is just keep it simple, roast chicken or steak. I mean, when I have a charity, and whenever we have a gala, I always did do like really crazy things. Like one year, we had green chili and cheese tamales, like really with the corn husk, like huge, like right on the plate. Another time, we had barbecue chicken and cornbread, just to make it different. Yeah. Or chicken pot pie. Oh, that's yeah. fun. So we're here, uh, like celebrating TV shows, films, and whatnot. What are you a fan of? When you get downtime, what are you watching? Gosh, I mean, right now, I haven't really had a chance to, to watch that much TV, but I'm really into this Netflix show called Brainchild. I know it seems weird, but I watch it with my daughter, and I've even watched it on my own. It just breaks down a lot of different science, from understanding your emotions to how rain is made, you know? And it's how really- How old is she? How old is your daughter? She's gonna be nine. Okay, okay. I've got a six month old, so maybe not. We've got to wait there. a few years. But you know what? In a few years, I love Brainchild. It's so cool. Yeah. It's really cool. <laughs>